Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Can everyone hear me fine today? Wa alaikum assalam and yes, I can hear you. Okay, Abdul Rahman can hear me. All right, good. So, who's excited for today? Yep, I can hear you. All right, you can hear me. Today we have Abdul Rahman presenting and the Mia sisters. You guys know the Mia sisters? You guys know who they are? <laughs> Okay, if you guys don't know, they've already, I think they've already bunch, presented. Bunch of brats who think they're very important. Uh -huh. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. All right, so today we are going to start with Abdul Rahman. So Abdul Rahman, whenever you're ready, you can start, okay? We'll wait for you to start. Does anyone want to share anything before Abdul Rahman starts presenting? Maybe you guys got something cool today. Okay, assalamu alaikum, everybody. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. How is everybody? Mm. I am Abdul Rahman, I am nine years old, and as you know, I am teaching the five pillars of Islam. So let's review the five pillars of Islam. The five pillars of Islam. Shahada is the first one. Salah is the second. Zakat is the third. Salm is the fourth. And Hajj is the fifth. Shahada. Muslims believe that there is no God but Allah who is called to him. We also believe that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is his last and final messenger. Salah. Muslims pray five daily prayers. Fajr before sunrise, Zahar early afternoon, Asr late afternoon, Maghrib after sunset, Isha, and at Isha night. And these are the five um daily prayers prayers fajr there's two rakat the her there's four asr there's also four maghrib there's three and isha there's four and if you're reading with someone for fajr it's loud the her quiet asr quiet maghrib out loud and isha out loud and two sunnah before Fajr, four sunnah before and two after the her. Mm, there's none after or before Asr. Two after Maghrib and two after Isha. And there's a video that um I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to teach us many yes. things and the most important of them are the five pillars of Islam. Do you know the five pillars? Let's say them together. Number one, ash-shahada, to say, ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan Rasulullah, which means there is no one worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his final messenger. Number two is Salat, the prayer, the five daily prayers. Number three, Zakat, to give the yearly charity. Number four is Siyam, fasting the month of Ramadan. And number five, is Hajj, going to Mecca and performing the pilgrimage. Salah will be the first pillar mm -hmm. that Allah will ask us about on the Day of Judgment. So it is very important yeah. to pray on time and concentrate in your prayer. Do you know the times for the five daily prayers? Let's do it together. Does 
Um, does everybody want to um, say it with Zaki? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's learn them together. We pray for the stop here guys and so does anybody have any questions great presentation of Dorf Man. so yeah if, if you, guys, you guys are gonna have to share something you learned today though, before you move on we're gonna have to share something you guys learned so mm -hmm. Did anyone have any questions? You guys don't have any questions for Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman, no. you're a really good teacher if they don't have any questions. Yes, Hoda. Is that how you say your name? I do. I do. What's your question? Abdul Rahman, he has a question. You pray? Yes, do you know how much? Yeah. We pray. So, so what, what was your question? You pray? Abdulrahman, he's asking if you pray. Yeah. Or are you asking how many uh, how many rakahs are in each prayer? Is that what you're asking? Yep. Okay, Abdulrahman. So how much rakahs are in each prayer? In Fajr, there's two. In Dahar, there's four. In Asr, there's also four. There's three. And in Isha. There's four. And these are these are all five prayers. These are mandatory. Yeah. So was that your question? Okay. All right. So if anyone else had any questions for Abdul Rahman, now is your time to go. Because in the meantime, we're waiting for the Mia sisters. So you guys can talk to Abdul Rahman right now if you had any questions. Who can share what they learned, though? I'm going to pick someone. No one. No one learned anything? Yes. You guys but already do this stuff? Islam. Okay. What yeah, pillar did you learn today? Blue. Abdul Rahman, what pillow did you teach today? Let's help them out. I learned the five, the five pillars. pillars of Islam. Shahada. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prayer. Yeah. Uh, and the next one was the prayer. Oh, the next one is the God. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so today one. we learned about uh, Shahada and Salat, right? Right, Abdul Rahman? Yeah. Yeah. 
right so now. So that's what we learned about today, Satina. So, yeah, no one else. You guys are very, very quiet today. It sounds like I'm talking to myself. I just keep talking and talking. Yeah, so you guys are all, um, if you guys all understand, then we can go on to the Mia sisters who are presenting next. Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? I guess you'll find out. I just want right. to make something else. Sorry. Thing. Well, I just know. Okay, so whenever the Mia sisters are ready, they can start. All right. Um, Ikra will just share her screen. Her Wi-Fi is a little slow right now. Okay. Is anyone else you're going to be teaching next week or this weekend? I don't know. I might try, but I can't. Log Me, on. I'm going to teach. Um, really, Mars. Adam? What are you going to teach? Hmm. I haven't. I think I'm going to teach the bravery. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I think I might teach if I have time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. I'll make a presentation about hedge if I can get on my computer. Okay, nice, nice. So a lot of you guys are teaching, so that's good. So right now we're just waiting because they're having some technical issues. Um, if Auntie's there, can you share the screen? Because yeah, technical difficulties. Oh, you want me to share the screen or Auntie? Auntie. Oh, I don't think she's here, she left. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Let me just take another second. Guys, this means the presentation is going to be really good since we're waiting so long. That's what we're hoping. Stefan, I love your sense of humor today. So <laughs> Same here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a funny guy. You guys are all so quiet. Why isn't anyone talking with each other? Come on. You guys can unmute your mics while we're reading. Why? Say it to them. Um, in the meantime, does anyone want to recap the last three eyes that we did? Yeah, you guys can recap. That's that's a better idea. Anyone? So who's going to recap the last three eyes? Last three eyes of what? Uh -huh. Anyone? Okay, well, it's not to break the conversations happening, but I'll share it on my phone. Oh, I kind of got it to work. Your screen, um, Michelle? Yeah, one sec. Okay, yeah, I've got it. Would you have it? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm also Okay, let's just get started then. I don't see the presentation if you're presenting. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Michelle, do you got it then? Yep, now I got it. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, let me unmute myself and then share. Okay. okay. I should. Uh, can you still hear me? Yes. Okay. Because before I didn't know how to like unmute myself. Uh, okay. Sorry, guys, for the wait. It's okay. Thank you for your patience. You're yeah. You're okay, there we go. Let me. Do it this way. All right, I should take it away. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I should. I should not more like um me back. Welcome to Surawakia IF four. Let's get started. I wish you be like in my shirt on our gym. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأخوة من اللساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا زدنا علم okay. I'll recite the ayah first actually and then I show you can do the translation uh, yeah so sure. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا رجت الأرض رجا when the earth will be Front, 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 hill shaken. Good, violently shaken. All right, so just to do like a really quick recap, because I think it's been a few days. Um, We've talked like about, let's see, we talked about this big, big incident that's going to be happening, this wakia, the whole incident which the surah was named after. And that incident was the day of judgment. And now all the ayahs that are going to be following are going to be about the day of judgment. So we talked about how this day will happen for sure. And when it happens, that there will be nobody who's going to be denying it. No one's going to be like, oh, this is all fake or special effects. And then last lesson, we learned about the two types of people. The people who will be raised, which will be the believers, and those who will be lowered, which will be the disbelievers. And now let's get into today's lesson. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that on when the day of judgment happens, the earth will be violently shaken. And he uses the word rujja, which is uh, from the root words rajim jim. And that means when something is like shaken completely, like kind of like when an earthquake happens or like the initial stage of an earthquake, you know, because everything starts to shake and it begins to move and begins to rumble. That's how the day of judgment is going to start. It'll be uh, beginning with a violent shake of the entire earth um so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this earth will definitely be shaken and not just once it'll be shaken and it'll happen um to this earth over and over again it'll be rattled it'll be shaken like to its core the entire earth from all its steps inside and out it'll be shaken and does anyone oh I already gave the answer I was going to ask if anyone knew why but um it's in I already wrote it down. So this is going to happen so that like whatever is on the earth will be brought to the ground. It's basically so that it's like finished and the earth will become a flat surface. So even us, um, like the people who will be alive on it, they will die. And those who are already dead, when the shaking happens, they will come out. They'll be resurrected. And that's when the day of judgment will take place, the last hour. So once again, a very short ayah, but that's one of the things of the day of judgment. That the earth, and now we see even around us, there's so many earthquakes happening um, in different parts of the world. But this is one of the signs of the day of judgment, that the earth will be shaken, like, I don't know, an easier word for violent, but violently, basically. Any questions before we move on? Or is this a pretty straightforward ayah? I'm going to take the silence as a way to move on. So I try to take it away. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's quite scary, isn't it? Um, so as Sister Michelle Seems mentioned. Very scary. I agree, Adam. So basically in this ayah, we are reminded of how this dunya will be nothing on the day of judgment. Everything will shake. So as Michelle said, like violently shake, Raja. 
and crumble from the inside out. So the earth will be completely flattened dust. As we mentioned, if you remember in the last aya, the mountains will turn into dust. There'll be nothing. So this will be an undeniable reminder for those who denied, and it will give me the yakin of this day. And um, like everyone who's on the earth will be um, like they will die, and everyone underneath will be brought back up. So this serves as a reminder, like a lesson of how insignificant and unimportant this thing is. The earth will shake and crumble like it's nothing. Like it's a, you know when you have chalk in your hand and you drop it and it turns into powder? It'll be like that, it'll crumble, it'll be nothing. Ooh. And why are we sacrificing our forever? So like, why are we sacrificing our hereafter for something so, so insignificant, so easily destructible? Um, because on the day of judgment, all of this, all these buildings, all these, all these really amazing things, there will be like nothing. They won't. They'll cease to exist. We are being reminded of how short this life really is. Subhanallah. Aisha, anything you want to ask? What did? Everybody learn today. Anyone? Oh, my bad. I learned um um what happened on the day of judgment. Yeah. That's good. And like, um, like everything will shake and crumble and it will be flattened. Mm hmm. Awesome. Anyone else? Adam, I know you're paying attention. What did you learn? The, the day when the earth will crumble, all the fabulous things that you see in life. We'll all go in the last hour, and then everybody is going to be looked at by Allah, and they and we will really see him. We'll see the hell and the seven doors of hell. We'll see the eight doors. I'm sorry, the, the eight doors of hell, the seven doors of Jannah. That's what we see. Wow, that was a really beautiful summary, really in depth. Good job. Here's a fact about heaven and you. Each time you rank up, you go up more stairs. Of <laughs> yeah, our teacher used to tell us that when we go, went to the masjid, that whenever we were memorizing, she's like, the more you memorize, the more you'll benefit on the day of judgment. So yeah, hopefully you guys are memorizing some of these ayahs because that will also help yeah. you. Not, yeah. I don't know if you've heard, but um, like the Quran will like testify on your behalf on the day of judgment if you read it and respect it and love it and learn it. So like this is the perfect this is the perfect month for that actually. Okay. Read, respect, learn, and love. That's nice. Okay, um, I think we're good to move on. Yeah, I think Anyone so too. Else? And it's so good here for coming. Um, thank you for joining us today. We hope you learned something. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Mia yeah. sisters, for that oh. awesome presentation. And I yeah, so five. we're done. And that was our 10th day, I believe, or like ninth day. So we'll see you all tomorrow. I'll get a friend. Muhammad rolled.